Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're at Manhattan Beach. It's uh, 12 p.m. low tide in, I'd say about an hour and a half, two hours. I see a lot of, I do see a sandbar out there, which is cool, no problem. But uh, I do see it puddling a lot, a lot of spots where I like to hunt also. So this could be a fun, interesting hunt. I'm gonna record, I changed my Pro Team settings a little bit with the GoPro Hero 8. Just gonna mess around with the settings a little bit and see um, what we can, how we're gonna look in Pro Team. But yeah, I'm gonna give you an intro to the beach. Keep it under a minute. We're gonna have a good day out today. Mine the uh, Excalibur to uh, we got the T-Rex scoop, the nine and a half. This is a newer one that they came out with. And uh, it seems to sift through the sand much faster than an older one. But it doesn't catch all the fine jewelry, small, you know, really small earrings and stuff. I don't have a problem with that. It's no big deal. But yeah, anyways, let's get going. Get into this thing. And uh, quit uh, blabbing, you know. Yeah, I like to see rocks everywhere here scattered up here. So there might be a, a gold ring thrown up here. And then down there, we got a lot of low spots. Other, it's a big dip right here, and it goes flat. There's probably another dip. So, most of the people always hang out like right here in this area. So, hopefully, we find something good in here. Because not everything from summertime is found. You have to remember that. Nobody can ever find everything off the beach. But this sand's hard packed, by the way. So, it's a pretty good feeling that whatever was lost in here and tumbled up and pushed up has been sent down. But uh, first two targets were a zinc penny and a uh, part of a watch. And I got another target right here. Let's just dig it up. Third target. Within two feet or so. Whatever that is. Probably a nail. That's still good to get off the beach, right? I like to see. These are my ideal beach hunting conditions. I'm going to see rocks like this. I'll grid it out pretty good. Sometimes there'll be a necklace bundled up. You might not, you might not even detect it, but you might spot it. But I always look for rocks like this. And there's small three-quarter rocks. I don't got a target when I'm talking. I might have to pick it up. But so far, I dug up a staple and a uh, But yeah, you see the, the dips right here. Dip, sandbar, dip. But a lot of times stuff gets trapped out there. It goes deep right here. And, uh, if it was rocks, that'd be even better. But we got some good low times coming up next week. So we might find whatever's here. Hopefully something good today. I'm standing on a big sandbar right now, which is basically sanded in. Unless somebody's out here and they do a fresh drop, but don't really uh, normally find a lot on uh, sandbars, a high part. The low spot, maybe. But um, yeah, nice day today so far. A lot of people at the beach. It's like, I think almost 70 degrees right now. Okay, I'll get it back on when we uh, find something. Talking about, right now I'm up to my ankles. The water's right to my ankles right now, and then there's this big drop off of the sandbars. It goes from my ankles to probably about three feet. So if you were just checking out bikinis all day and not paying attention where you were walking, <laughs> you're gonna take a you're gonna take a hard fall, break your leg, your ankle. So I like to use my coil just to kind of fill the the bottom of the sand, see if there's uh, and if I have a good footing there or not. Yeah, you gotta be careful. You know, it's not just coming out and uh, digging up gold and all that stuff. There's other other conditions you gotta pay attention to. But yeah, let's see what we can find today. Hopefully, we find something good. It's been rough. Haven't had a target for 20 minutes. But this beach is weird like that sometimes. Sometimes it'll go 20, 30 minutes without a signal and then it'll just hit an area that's been pounded. And uh, I think, I 
think today is just mostly sand and dune. And but I don't let that discourage me. You know, I just it's still about just getting out and having fun. signal. I doubt you'll be able to hear it through the headphones, but signals that I've had like that were uh, some of them have been like feet staples, parts of a nail. Pinpoints just, uh, you know, one tone. It's still down there, Darn deep sink penny sound there too. Oh, I dig it out, okay. Let's put it in discriminate to listen to it. Oh there it is. Okay, I see it. There's um that's pretty cool. I knew that was a good target, but that was deep. It was just picking up on this part right here. It almost looks silver too. So, it's like my third or fourth one I found here. That almost looks silver though. I think it is. I'll test it when I get home. But yeah, there we go. Piece of jewelry. All the sound off. It's actually pretty nice. This is nice. I think if you're at the pier, you pay like 30 bucks for this. Or something. Well, that's good to get off the beach right here. There's quite a bit of kids playing here today. And I mean, you can see all the people on the beach. So it's good to get good to get stuff like this off. Somebody will hurt, get hurt, and step on that. So it's good to get that off the beach right here. Okay. Well, let's keep going and see what else we can find, but I like I like to show stuff like this, maybe um, encourage people to get more, no more iron hearts. I'll be on the surface. See what it is. Might just be a zinc pen. So for coins, I think I've dug maybe four coins of it. I haven't really dug any coins. But yeah. Oh well. It's a beach one. I'm gonna find this. I have to show No need to go to Red Lobster because we got it right here. Wow. Look at that. That's not alive, right? Guess he's playing dead. I'm gonna throw it up here. Look at that sucker. Maybe the birds will eat it or pick at it, I'm not sure. Well, let's see. Okay, well I'm gonna say that's amazing. My first coin in the wet sand out about uh, 15 feet from the shoreline. I was like, okay, I found my first dime out here. I haven't had a target for probably good 20, 30 minutes. So. If I got too excited for that. Sound like a big ring, but quick three scoops go out. So where you're sitting here, listen to this. I found it in a pinpoint. Well, listen to this here. I'll sweep it slow. Okay. So it picks it up either way. I don't know if it's a deep sink pan, which I'm thinking it probably is. I'm 
just sweeping it around like that so we get a bit of the sound. There it is. So now it's amplified. It's gonna be a dime. Yeah. So it has a deep dime for I'm looking the way I'm looking at it. So I just dug that dime over there and then I'm just following my uh, my straight lines right now. Kind of ready halfway through. But let's see what this is here. In 10 point. Did you find anything? Oh just a couple of pennies here and there and dimes and everything. Not too much of it though. So yeah, it's just a nice day to be out, and uh, it's like winter time. It's well, still winter time, us, isn't it? We're Canada, so this is like summer. Oh, summer. okay, okay. So you're like, oh, this feels good then. Well, we're laughing, everybody. We're like, this is a beautiful summer day, and everybody's wearing hoodies, like yeah. and pants, and yeah, like what the heck? Yeah, I, I always wear a hoodie just to protect from the sun and everything. Oh, I don't yeah, want to get burned. Sure, I'll right? be out here for like four or five hours, but uh, yeah, but yeah. I seen a few people in their in their uh, bathing suits today, so yeah, up, right? like, yeah. But they go in the water and they're like, "Oh, it's freezing." And I said, "Oh, that's nothing. I'm used to that. It feels good." <laughs> the water isn't too warm, but yeah. it's okay. Yeah, you have a nice day. Okay, Happy New Year. A nice lady from Canada. Eh? She said over there is summertime right now, so I guess she gets, gets to enjoy both uh, both spots. Okay, let's keep going. See you guys in the fire. Got ourselves another park here, and this is in Pimpoint. Sounds light. Wait, not a very strong. Possibly like a silver aluminum or something. I thought it was a piece of aluminum. It sounded real thin, real light sound. From what I can tell, it definitely sounds different than a zinc penny. So, another dime. I'm gonna get excited about the dimes now. It's good. I paid $8 for parking, so some of them are uh, silver parking in the back. Gotta find some laundry money too here. Sound? Sounds kind of wide. Let's take a look at it. Let's see what we got. One scuba. indicator of the targets were there. A wide signal. I wasn't going to record it. I thought it was a can. And I don't know if you remember those old phones back in the day where I think they were called like a sidekick or something. And they used they would flip over. Or right, maybe this one. Yeah. Let's see. I think this was a sidekick, I think. Samsung. Let me text the owner back there now. So I get them to uh, get the rest of the phone. Where are you? Found half of your phone. It's okay. It's okay me and send, right? Send it. I'm just gonna wait here. Wait here for people to show up. That phone up, right? We'll have the phone. Sneaker. Not one quarter today. But Manhattan Beach is weird sometimes. 
you can go a long time without finding anything. I had a day like that with the CTX, so I was out here. And I got a nice signal away from the pier. Okay, that's a penny. Got a, like a nice faint signal on the CTX. CTX is a big machine also. I actually like that over the Equinox. Um, that's a penny. Oh, we're still doing all right today. Still trying to find some targets here. Well, it's been a little, little bit rough. I do have to say on this GoPro 8, I do like the Hyper Smooth 2.0. I know that's another selling point for them. Let's see what else we can try. Target here. Somewhere. Is that the other part of the phone? I don't think I dug many bottle caps. That was a deeper target too. I'll say this beach has a lot of uh, deep sinkers, but they're all, I mean, this ground is really mineralized. Look how, min look how that one's just been taken over by the beach. Not much left of it. All right, let's see what this is here. Let's put it in a uh, screen lamp. Rough. Sounds better. No, I just be on the edge. Okay, we got it out. And I originally found that in a pinpoint. On a day. Okay. It's a little sunny today. It's bright out here, and uh, definitely not your typical winter day in uh, SoCal. You know what I mean? A little sunny. So. I don't know if that's gold. I'll look at it when I get home. It might just be costume jewelry, but yeah, a little bit sunny jewelry, right? An update. Let me give you an update. Uh, just like a target here, the sun right here. And I'm getting a target. Something over here now. Might just be the sun. That can't be the chain, unless it's a bracelet. That would make sense. Okay. So yeah, let's check into the uh, let's check into the jewelry department. So we got that sun, and I'm gonna say another junk earring. Some jewelry, I'm finding. I don't know what it is. Earrings, right now. Yeah, there we go. Guess on this one. I just dug it up. I wasn't going to record it. It just sounded really wide. It's not a uh huh. But it's something we dug uh, a few of today. And uh, today we got a baby. Oh, baby. Oh yeah, baby. So baby, you lost your earring, baby. But baby, somebody bought you some fake jewelry.
Hello. Another nasty. Nasty time. Get these out of here. Got a deep signal. It's gonna be a faint one. Come out of this hole right here. I don't think it's anything to look at, or whatever. But um, I'm not sure it's got these ends on it, like a connected to something. I don't know if that was like to a wallet or something. First, if it didn't have this on it, the plastic ends I probably would say it would have been a necklace, but I have no idea what that is. Maybe it things attached to pendant or something. I don't know. Okay, let's get into a wrap up from Manhattan Beach. Did have had a little bit of a rough uh, hunt today. Didn't really find too much. Let's start with uh, this price sit here. Actually, gave a nice signal right here. You can see that. Did find some jewelry. The sun was out today. John Gary. We got a ooh baby baby. Baby back ribs earring. Uh, some kind of brass tag, Santa Ana. And all the aluminum. I guess this is a necklace, a cheap necklace. And it's just, that's the clasp right here, the plastic piece. And then a phone, part of a phone. Remember those uh, sidekick phones you would text? Yeah, one of those, okay. Uh, what else? Coins? I, like I said, this is a this is a rough beach beach hunt. Four dimes, eleven pennies. I mean, if you want to even call these pennies here, real rough. Just weird stuff I was digging today. Part of a toy car. And what else? Gotta get all the nasty stuff off the beach. I'm in linear right now, recording in linear, so let's see how this comes out. And the lighting is not the greatest, too, so sorry about that. And that's all the iron that I dug up. And I was finding staples everywhere. Some of these were deep, too. So that's good. I like to show that. Actually, it's good to get it off the beach, too, all the little iron. People that stuff hurt people. And then I didn't get a chance. In the last video, I, I showed my gold ring and it didn't really come out that great. So I'm going to give you, try to give you a better view of it right now. And that's what it looks like there. That's a gold ring I dug up the, with the real diamonds in it. Yeah, so there we go. I, I think I'm going to be done for a few days now at the beach. But we did pretty good for, what was it, three or four days in a row. Found a lot of stuff, and then I got found all the other stuff from Manhattan Beach. Santa huh. Monica Beach. Okay, talk to you later, everybody, and see you on the next one. Have a good day.